Hi folks. Well, <laughs> PC's arrived. So, without any further ado, and because I'm a little bit impatient and a slightly bit, little bit excited, let's get on and unbox it. So, a slight fail because the um, the camera ran out of um, space meant that um, the all exciting cutting of the cellar tape has been missed. Oh, I do apologise, folks. Let me just hold it down. And we can just pretend, yeah. But nothing else has been missed. So let's open her up and see what is inside. Cooler Master Case 5, excellent. Let's have a look at this box. What goodies await? Windows 10. Chill Blast Troubleshooting Guide An Installation Guide How to Plug a PC Together Mains, that's going to be useful I think, hopefully What have we got? A big old bag of cables here This has got things like uh, mountain brackets It's got, looks like SATA cables, power cables All manner of things there in case I, Presumably in case I want to install another drive or anything like that later and what's this one? Ah, so this is the Gigabyte motherboard um, booklet and so forth. Yeah, there it is there, the GA... GA170X Gaming 7. Superb. Right, well that's that box. Which means that without further ado, it is time to get into where all the real action is. So, I think I'm gonna need two hands for this, so I'll be back in a minute. So I've lifted the uh, the master case box out, and uh, here it is. It's quite, a, uh, quite an enormous box, actually. The, my hand, just for the purpose of scale. Um, and then in the bottom of the box over here we have, oh, looks like the other monitor. Let's put that one over there. So that's both the monitors. And a keyboard and mouse. I only went for a bare bones keyboard and mouse because I've got a proper gaming mouse. And I've already got one of those keyboards, and they're actually really good. So, while I'd like to spend a couple of hundred pounds on a on a nice Razer keyboard, I'd rather spend a couple of hundred pounds on more PC. <laughs> anyway, without further ado, and checking it's recording this time so that you can see sellotape cutting, because that's exciting stuff. Oh, did you see that? That was Silitate being cut live on camera. Well, live recorded on a video for later playback, so not really live at all. And let's, uh, where's the middle of this? Probably don't need to use the knife. I'm wary about using the knife because I don't want to damage anything. There we go. What have we got in here? I suspect we have awesomeness. Right, I think I'm going to need to use both hands again. <laughs> right then, folks, I'll be back in a minute. Oh, this PC is heavy. <laughs> so here we are, out of the box. Box is over there. The growing box of uh, box of boxes. So, you have to excuse some poor camera angles here as I try and gently ease out the past it, the polystyrene. There we go. That's the polystyrene off, and there it is over there. So, now on the bottom here, we have case is actually sitting on the uh, the wrapping oh 
Oh, look at this. It's even got carry handle. Look. That looks lovely. Power button, reset button, two USB three ports, microphone, so headset and microphone, hard drive light. What have we got on the back? So it's a 980 Ti graphics card with looks like one HDMI and three display ports are they called uh, and a DVI I I guess and then in here we've got two network ports USB 2 3 and 3.1 PS2 for mouse and keyboard for those that so wish now oh, on these two ports I remember reading these are cleaned these are power cleaned ports for some reason i can't remember exactly why that's the usb 3.1 that's the usb type c that you can switch switch sides of um sound ports here two network ports and these are actually slightly different one of them uses um real a real tech drive um hardware and the other one uses the killer driver it's hardware and then we've got the power supply down the bottom here wow this looks pretty awesome. So the next step is to get it set up and see where we go from there. Well, here it is, folks. It's on there. I love how you can see the fans through the grill. Lots of uh, cooling going can be going on there. And because it's uh, the nice Cooler Master case, it's actually really easy to uh, take off the side. One thing that astounded me is just the professional quality of this build. There's all the wires are tucked away. You can't see anything, and there's nothing going to get in the way of that airflow. You can see the this is the Strix video card. The video is a bit dark. Tip it up a little bit. You can see the gaming the Gigabyte Gaming Seven motherboard. That's the hydro cooling over there to the front. The SSD just in there, it's an M2 PCIe. Lots of ports on the back. Okay, we need a monitor. Let's go and sort one out. Okay, folks, we have a monitor. <clears throat> We've got two monitors here. Let's unpack one of them and uh, and see see what we can find. This is literally my first set of unboxing videos, so I do apologize apologize if I'm just not doing it right. What have we got? Power cord, uh, a cable for the hood me, a microphone audio cable, or some sort of audio cable anyway, VGA cable. Didn't even think VGA cable still existed if I'm honest. Oops, we've had a, we have an escapee. What's this thing? It's a bracket that fits on the back, I imagine, possibly for, um, um, like, you know, sitting that way. We'll find out in a minute. So, this is our bounty from the top. And then, this is where I need two hands. <clears throat> right, let me go ahead and get the, uh, the monitor out, and then we can uh, take a look. So, monitor's out, let's unpack it, see what it looks like. 
Gently, don't want anything slipping. Oh, very nice. Okay, folks, so we pulled the last bit of polystyrene out. We've got a, a CD. User guide, monitor driver, and stuff. That looks exciting. And then we have the stand. There you go. Which looks distinctly like that thing we just found a minute ago. So let's go ahead and assemble it. So this is the monitor. That's the stand and the uh, the, the leg it stands on, I guess. So I'm going to start by making sure there's nothing there. Flatten the monitor down. And uh, someone say something about reading the manual. I think I'm going to read a manual then. Things haven't got that desperate yet. They're about to, I think. There you go, it just needed strength from two hands just to get it in there, and that's fitted, and then we need to uh, place it on there. Oh, oh, it's got a visa mount on the back as well, that's handy. That's worth knowing. And there we go folks, that's the monitor. It's the AOC E2470 SW. Alright, I guess time to plug it in and see what happens. Hello everybody. So we've got all the PC uh, now set up. We've got, uh, not set up, sorry, put on the table. We've got the monitor here. We've got some cables and uh, next job is to uh, get them all plugged together. So with my son ably acting as cameraman, um, let's get some wires plugged in, see what this thing looks like when it boots up. So... Uh, power cable. These are just normal power cables, nothing fancy about them. The last PC um, that I got was a... Um, try not to move the camera too quickly. Um, the last PC that I bought, uh, other than my Dell laptop, was a uh, was an Alienware and it came with a kilowatt power supply which was so... it's a big power supply. It actually came with a different kind of power connector. <clears throat> it's a big thing. Whereas so this is your normal power connector, um, it, which is well the one that everyone's PC pretty much has got. The Alienware came with this one that was about twice this size. So one, let's get it plugged in. Turn the power off on a PC for just a minute. Right, that's the PC plugged in. Monitor. Casually throws rubbish across room, hopes wife doesn't note it. Oops, it's on YouTube. <laughs> I'll clean it up later, I promise. <laughs> Why are you laughing for? <laughs> no, you won't. <laughs> what? I think there's doubting going on here. Okay, <laughs> take the uh, cover off of this. Let's plug the monitor in. Uh, it's got on ports anyway, we've got USB, VGA, DVI, HDMI, and audio ports by the looks of it. Super duper. I could probably find all this information out in the manual, but bah humbug. Indeed. What manual? There is a manual, but it was on that CD, if you remember, that I casually tossed on the ground. 
Okay. Totally going to clean it up later. Totally going to clean it up later. More plastic. So this is the HDMI cable. Hood me. Hood me. Hood me for the look of the tub. Right. Oh. Oh. Hello. I, I, the can I, has doing stuff. It's been turned on. All right. Right. Oh, yeah. That's wrong. Ich bin is not it is. That's that one. And then around here somewhere. You can plug it in. Now it did occur, it does occur to me that it's only got one HDMI port. It's got three display ports. And the monitor doesn't take display port. However, fortunately I've already got a display port to HDMI cable. So I can plug those in. So we have HDMI, we have power. Now we can have keyboard. We can have like as I said a... before, it's nothing fancy. I can has as a question. What was your question? No, I can has is a question. I can has cheeseburger. You don't have a cheeseburger yet. I do has. Apparently is... I can't do internet me. Correct. Everyone's a critic, Cameron. <laughs> right. <laughs> Schooled by my boy. Indeed. Indubitably. Right, toss that over there, we'll clean it up later. I've been out Englished. I don't really qualify that as English, though. Inter it's internet speak. Internetlish. Right, the, the pile of rubbish is getting a bit bigger. Totally going to clean it up. Totally going to clean it up later. This is the Logitech K20, uh, K120. And it's a cheap keyboard. There's nothing fancy about it. Um, but it, um, it actually, it's quite robust. It's a nice keyboard. Feels good to use. And it doesn't suffer from ghosting problems. What are you pointing the camera at? <clears throat> Anywhere. Make sure you're pointing it somewhere. Yeah, so the K120 doesn't really suffer from too many ghosting problems, um, unlike a lot of cheap keyboards, which is one of the reasons they're cheap, to be honest, because dealing with ghosting is something that more expensive keyboards deal with. Um, no, it's not going to stand up next to a nice razor. More rubbish going over there. It's not going to stand up to a nice razor keyboard, but it's... Um, it's, uh, it certainly stands up for, I think that this whole, the keyboard and the mouse combination is about £20 or something. Whereas well, a nice Razer keyboard, not £20. I'm not planning on using the mouse. That will go in a spares drawer um, because I've got a, um, I've got the mouse that confounds my wife <laughs> with lots and lots of buttons. She can't understand it. Nobody can understand it. I don't understand it. But, but it's, it's cool. Got six, but it has uh, many millions of colours. So yes, that's the mouse I will be using. But that's on my laptop because I'm in the middle of doing job, other jobs as well. Right. We have mouse keyboard, HDMI. We've got power in everything. Are we ready? I can't find the power switch. It's on the front. No. Oh, here we go. Power supply is now on. Are you watching the monitor? Sounds good so far. Chill Blast HDMI. Put that poo, put it in the pile. <laughs> to clear up later. So we've got a nice bright white uh, hard drive light over there. Broken brightness. Windows 10. You know, because Kingdom, United Kingdom. I think we're in the United Kingdom. Enter a product key. Okay. Are we recording? We are recording. Excellent. Right, so we just did the product key. Uh, now we're setting up an amount. So who's using this PC? Matt is using this PC. Make a password. Type it in the same in both times. Woohoo. 
Um, right. And we wait just a moment. Hi. Hello. We're happy you're here. <laughs> I'm happy I'm here too. Lots of great features to get excited about. <laughs> Let me use them. <laughs> and the way I'm going to get excited about them is by watching the colour change on the screen. It's pretty thrilling stuff. Yes. This is Windows 10 doing its final setup stuff. If you look over on the hard drive light, you can see it's going um, ballistic. Lots of stuff going on on the hard drive. Hopefully it shouldn't take too long to do its thing. Hopefully it shouldn't take too long to do its thing. What was that thing about not taking too long? Getting everything ready for us. Well, I was hoping that is what it was doing. Let's start. Finally. Woo start. Whee! And here we are. Windows 10. Windows 10. Got Chill Blast FAQ on the desktop. Ah, which goes close to their website. But of course, I'm not connected to the internet, so that's not a most brilliant idea at the moment. Let us do a shutdown. We now need to find out how fast this thing boots. Just because it has to be done. The PC won't be staying here, it's going to go out in the garage, but I just wanted, thought it was easier to set it up out here where there was a bit more room. Right, power is off. So, watching the monitor. Ready? Go. That's 15 seconds. Twenty seconds. Thirty seconds. Not too shabby. To get something of this power booted. Anyway. Excellent. So next job is to get it online. Get Steam and Train Sim and everything installing, and uh, we'll see what's. Uh, let's have a look at Nvidia Control Panel, Display Settings. The Taiwan High Speed has arrived. That's what I call that um, Windows 10 notification. Ah. Because it sounds. Yeah, GeForce GTX 980 Ti. Apparently it can't focus on it. There you go, GeForce 980 Ti. It's got 365.10 drivers on it. I've no idea if that's the latest, but we will yeah. find out. Is that the latest? Yeah. I'm told it's the latest. I expect nothing less, so... Possibly uh, a little bit of a preview even, because my computer's running uh, 353. Okay. But yours is a laptop. Yes. Okay folks, so PC's working, so I've started to have a look at rejigging this place a little bit. Just a first cut, the, uh, the, the initial change is that the, uh, the floor stool there used to be on the one next to the wall and I've moved the cupboard across so that the PC can sit in the middle. Um, I've taken all the wires out that I don't need because there was a mess of wires in here from taking the PC in, out, in, out, different PCs, moving laptops around this place. It, it had become a bit of a mess. Oh, hello, it's me. <laughs> so um, I've got cables set back up for monitors. So the next job is to start bringing everything in and uh, we'll see how it goes. So 
I'll uh, I'll film again when we've got a bit more to look at. Welcome back, everybody. So, a little bit different from the last time you saw it. We now have the two monitors in and the PC, and it fit in there so well. I mean, look at the gap. Anyone would think it was meant to fit in there. I mean, honestly, it just fits. There really isn't much room over here for me to make any more room if I needed it, and I guess I could have made a little bit more room over here, but excuse the mess over here. I need to retidy this up, but everyone's waiting for a stream, so I need to get that sorted. But meanwhile, this is it in its in its house, ready to go. Let's see if it works on the stream, shall we?